Hello and welcome to Moment of Clarity. In this episode, I'm going to get into multiple ways the primaries are being rigged against Bernie Sanders. This is probably an ongoing thing I'll be doing, but these are two ways that uh, maybe you haven't thought of, one of which you, you almost definitely haven't realized. In a minute, I'm going to get into why Nancy Pelosi pushed back the delivering of the impeachment articles, beginning the impeachment trial in the Senate, and what the fuck it has to do with Bernie Sanders. To begin with, though, I want to start with what we saw on CNN the other night. But of course, all of this is, and I'm going to talk more on Redacted tonight about, uh, these are various ways that they're trying to stop a, a true progressive from actually winning the presidency uh, because, you, you know, God forbid someone get in the way of the, the prison industrial complex, the endless wars that we have going on, the, 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 the global empire we have, the U.S. hegemony around the world. We don't want anyone to interrupt that, right? We wouldn't want anyone to, to possibly uh, have, a, have an economy based on life and sustainability as opposed to death and destruction. So we are watching the ruling elite of both parties as they try desperately to make sure that someone who, who stands for those things cannot get into the presidency. But let's begin with what happened on CNN the other night. CNN coordinated with the uh, Elizabeth Warren campaign. I think it seems pretty obvious. Now, that doesn't mean that Elizabeth Warren was necessarily on the phone with CNN, but, you know, there's back channels and shit. Let's go through the actual timeline here, all right? First, days before the debate, CNN puts out an article saying that Bernie Sanders told Elizabeth Warren a woman could never become president. Now, this article is a, a completely anonymous sources, right? No one will come on record saying that they were in the meeting where Bernie Sanders said such a thing, which doesn't make any sense. How do, why do you need anonymous sources for something like that? The reason for anonymous sources is because people are worried they'll lose their jobs or shit. But revealing something about a meeting between Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders from two or three years ago, there's no reason to be anonymous unless you're making some of it up. Anyway, CNN does that. Bernie Sanders then immediately comes out and says, I never said that. In fact, I have a, you know, 30, 40, 50 year record of supporting women and believing women can win the highest office in the land. So this is uh, utter horseshit. He didn't say horseshit. He should have said horseshit, but you know, there's ways he can, he can build. We'll keep teaching him as we go forward. Warren then doesn't address it for several days, okay? She just lets it swirl, which is part of the plan. You create uh, a media storm and then you let it swirl so that it, it, it can run out of control. Then in the CNN debate, they ask Bernie Sanders if he ever said it. Did you ever say that women cannot become president? And he said, absolutely not. So, okay, Bernie Sanders again has said, absolutely not. Then the CNN moderator then turns to Elizabeth Warren and goes, how did that feel when Bernie Sanders told you you couldn't become president? And you can actually hear the audience laugh at the question because Bernie Sanders had just told them he didn't fucking say it. Senator Sanders, I do want to be clear here. You're saying that you never told Senator Warren that a woman could not win the election. That is correct. Senator Warren, what did you think when Senator Sandu Sanders told you a woman could not win the election? <laughs> So what, what, what part of that didn't you understand? Then hashtag CNN is trash started trending on Twitter because they are, they are trash. So Elizabeth Warren then claims that it was said, apparently. Next step, at the end of the bait, Elizabeth Warren appears to not want to shake Bernie Sanders' hand. This is all set up. This is all planned ahead of time. This is not in the moment. You know, I guarantee you that Elizabeth Warren met with the advisors on, well, what should I shake his hand? Oh, no, don't shake his hand, because then we can get another day of coverage out of the fact that you didn't shake his hand. Then a, a day after that, leaked audio comes out of Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders after the debate. I think you called me a liar on national TV. I think you called me a liar on national no. TV. Let's not do it right now. You want to have that discussion, we'll have that discussion. You called me a You told me. All right, let's not do it. As if Elizabeth Warren didn't know that they were on a hot mic. As if she wasn't planning to do this uh, gotcha moment with Bernie Sanders after the debate. It was all designed to create another day of coverage. Another day where they could say, look, Elizabeth, you know, uh, Bernie Sanders hates women or whatever the fuck. All of this was put together in a way designed to try and hurt Bernie Sanders. It, so far, it seems to have had the reverse effect, okay? It, he, he raised, uh, you know, millions of dollars because of these attacks against him. Uh, CNN is trash, was trending on Twitter. It seems to have had the reverse effect because it, er, anybody who's watched older videos of Bernie Sanders know that the idea that he somehow hates women is, is, is fucking laughable. 
Also, I think this would be a good time to go through a little bit of who Elizabeth Warren is. Now, here's the thing. I don't hate everything Elizabeth Warren has ever done. I think she's done some good stuff against the big banks, against corporations. But if you look at her long-term record, she used to be a Republican for years. She was a lawyer who worked with corporations for years. And in fact, Dow Chemical hired Elizabeth Warren to help limit their payouts to women who got breast cancer from silicone breast implants. Limit their payouts. Meaning Elizabeth Warren worked for Dow Chemical to try and make sure victims of breast cancer could not get as much money. Now, there, there's articles about this. There, some of the women have come forward and said that we, they knew Elizabeth Warren as the lawyer for Dow Chemical uh, or working with uh, in like an advisory capacity or something. But they knew her and, quote, she was on the wrong side of the table, meaning she was not helping the women. She was helping the corporations limit their payout to victims of breast cancer. She, of course, famously claimed she was a Native American and did a DNA test and it showed she was at maximum 164th Cherokee, but possibly 1 1,000th Cherokee. And, and that'd be one thing, you know, okay, this, she was mistaken because her grandparents had sold her a lie and she thought she was. But it goes a step further when you realize that she was one of the authors, a co-authored book with other people, uh, a recipe book, a cookbook called Pow Wow Chow. And the subtitle is about how these recipes come from, quote, the five civilized tribes. Now, if you know anything about the horrific racism and stereotypes that have been passed down and used by America over our hundreds of years of history, much of it comes down to calling Native Americans savages, right? Uncivilized. So to claim to be one of the civilized tribes, you are playing in to that racism against Native Americans. It is a certain group of Native Americans that say, we're the civilized ones. We're the ones that can work with the white people who have come here and committed genocide. We are the ones that, that are the good ones and, 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 and not savages. Those others are barbaric. Those others are savages. So. I think it, it, it seems pretty clear this is a at least partially racist cookbook. On top of that, she apparently stole the recipes she put in there, the word for word from some other French recipes that were published. On every level, it just reeks of a, a horrific, a horrific thing to do. But on top of all that, I think the thing that I find most bothersome about her is she's basically a warmonger. She represents the, 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 the military industrial complex in a lot of ways. She may have said some stuff here or there against our endless wars, but I watched five minutes of her questioning General Mattis when they were approving General Mattis as the Secretary of Defense. And you can argue about votes. You can say, oh, well, they had no choice. It was wrapped up in another bill, blah, blah, blah. And so people shrug off certain votes, terrible votes. But you can't argue when they, it's just this person, the senator speaking at a hearing, speaking to the, the, the war criminal. General Mattis is a known war criminal, all right? He, he literally obliterated, bombed wedding parties and then said he would do it again and said he has not lost sleep over it. This is a war criminal. And as you recall, he was our, our Secretary of Defense for a while. And Elizabeth Warren, in her questioning of Mattis, asked nothing of substance. Literally, one of her main questions was, do you believe in innovation? Do you believe in innovation? You're talking to a war criminal. You're about to put him in charge of the largest death machine in the world. And and, and you do you believe in innovate? What do you think he's going to say? No, I don't. I love butter churns. I think I think our military should go back to horseback and and and, and shooting, uh, you know, little uh, bows and arrows and throwing spears. Now, of course, he believes in innovation. He, that, 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 that fucking who answers that question any other way than that? But Elizabeth Warren didn't care because at the heart of it, she is for the American war empire. So that is how CNN has worked with the Elizabeth Warren campaign to try and sideline Bernie Sanders. But let's get to something arguably more important. The impeachment trial and why it's happening now. When Nancy Pelosi, uh, they, right, they passed it in the House, the Articles of Impeachment, and then Nancy Pelosi was charged with uh, delivering it to the Senate. The Senate cannot have the trial until Nancy Pelosi delivered the Articles of Impeachment to the Senate. They can't start. 
And Nancy Pelosi didn't do it, right? I don't, do you remember this? It was, it was covered everywhere a couple of weeks ago. She's been holding these articles of impeachment. It didn't make sense to me unless she thought she could get something out of it, which really she couldn't. I mean, it's not like Mitch McConnell's gonna suddenly, oh, well, I changed my mind because you held off the articles of impeachment. I'm going to allow all the witnesses you want. No, it, it, it made sense. So, uh, you knew she wasn't gonna get anything out of Mitch McConnell by holding the articles of impeachment. What did it do for her? What did, it, what, what did they gain? Maybe they gain a little bit longer news cycle, but you know, they can, they can get that anyway. It's not like the election's tomorrow. It didn't make any sense to me, and now it does. Because what's in two weeks? The Iowa caucuses. And who is the number one person that the Democratic ruling elite, the Democratic corporate party, the Democratic pile of shit, long-term serving, assholes, Clinton machine, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, who is it? They're all trying to stop from winning the Democratic nomination for president. Bernie Sanders. Who is it they want to put in that place, want to get the nomination? Either Joe Biden or maybe Pete Buttigieg, but Buttigieg is struggling. But one of those two, one of the mainstream candidates, one of the, uh, the centrists, AKA Republicans. So what does holding the impeachment have to do with that? Bernie Sanders is a Senator, which means he has to sit in the fucking Senate for the entire impeachment trial. And he will be, he will be sitting there. So Nancy Pelosi successfully has made it so that Bernie Sanders cannot be out campaigning in Iowa two weeks before the Iowa caucuses. Who knows how long it could go? I don't know how long the, the impeachment trial could go, but you know, even if it's just a few days, she has chopped a few days out of his schedule of going around and, and, and campaigning in Iowa and New Hampshire before these caucuses begin. She successfully did that. Now, some people could argue, yeah, but Elizabeth Warren's in the Senate too. She has to do that too. So is Amy Klobuchar. Yeah, but those people don't matter. Warren's too far down in the polls to really be a, 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 a worry to the Nancy Pelosi's and the Clinton machine and the DNC. And Bernie Sanders is the true threat. Pelosi doesn't care if she hurts Elizabeth Warren. She just wants to hurt Bernie Sanders. She wants to stop Bernie Sanders from campaigning. And she succeeded. And Bernie Sanders is now gonna be sitting in the Senate. Uh, Biden and Buttigieg will be running around like maniacs all over Iowa, all over New Hampshire, all over Nevada, and getting ready for this big primary election coming up while Bernie Sanders is stuck in the Senate. To me, I think that's, it's obvious. It's, it's the only thing that Nancy Pelosi really got out of holding these articles of impeachment. There was no other reason to fucking do it. But this, this is genius. Hurt, hurt the, 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 the one true progressive in the campaign. It's brilliant. Brilliant maneuver, Nancy Pelosi. Way to fuck over America yet again. So those are just two of the many ways this election is rigged, similar to the last one in 2016. I'm gonna keep going through these, keep giving you the, the reality of this situation. Unredacted tonight, this past week, I just covered how it's rigged against Bernie in the California primary. You should definitely check that out, especially if you're in California, because there are ways that you can beat the rigging. There are ways that you can actually have your vote count. And I go through all of them, it's kind of complicated, but, uh, uh, check out that Redacted tonight if you haven't. Uh, also, I have live shows coming up in Philadelphia, Washington, D.C., Dallas, Austin, uh, many other cities. Philadelphia is in one week so or less, so go to LeeCamp.com and click on the Schedule tab in order to view that. Also, my new book comes out uh, any day now, and that's at LeeCampBook.com. Well, it starts shipping any day. It actually comes out in March, but if you buy it from LeeCampBook.com, you'll get it in the next couple of weeks. All right, please share this video because, you know, we are incredibly suppressed uh, constantly, and uh, it's tons of fun. Let me tell you, it's a goddamn blast to watch them purge all your subscribers and uh, make sure nobody can see your videos. So uh, thanks a lot for, for helping me get the word out. Keep fighting.